Hi, so we continue today with our reading of What is Philosophy by Deleuze and Gattay. And quite quickly in page two, they give the answer to the question. They give an answer, they give a brief uh, concentrated formula. They write, philosophy is the art of forming, inventing, and fabricating concepts. So note here that although they are famous for the formula that philosophy is the creation of concepts, here they don't speak about creation, forming, inventing, fabricating. Uh, in French, the um, formula is l'art de former, d'inventer, de fabriquer. Okay, so these are terms that are close to creation, but ne nevertheless different at the same time. They will, of course, use the term creation, but we will see how that might differ from uh, the idea of a fabrication, for example, which is might be a little technical. And then they have this moment where they speak about friends, right? So this sort of human embodiment and uh, there are two points. The first point is that they say that concepts need conceptual personia, in French, personnage conceptuel, that play a part in their definition. So this is very strange and very perhaps surprising for people who, are, who have a background in analytic philosophy or logic. The fact that concepts are, by some aspect of it, connected to a persona. And they start by saying, well, the, the topic of friendship, the idea of a friend, is such a conceptual persona. Uh, that uh, reveals, that was um, manifested in the Greek origin of philosophy. All those civilizations had sages, but the Greeks introduced these friends who are not just more modest sages. Right? So what does it mean, a friend? Well. First of all, if you are a uh, friend of wisdom, philosophia, Sophia, um, this means that perhaps you do not fully coincide with that understanding, with that knowledge, with that wisdom. You are, you have this uh, lover relationship with it. You constantly uh, try to be in the presence of uh, knowledge. Uh, perhaps you try to become one with knowledge. But of course, if you were one with knowledge, you couldn't be said to be a friend. Right? So the idea of friendship um, implies the idea of some sort of separation, a close complicity, but nevertheless not a full coincidence. Does it designate a type of competent intimacy, a sort of material taste and potentiality like that of the joiner with wood? Is the potential of wood latent in the good joiner? Is 
he the friend of the wood. So it's interesting because in, in another book, uh, A Thousand Plateaus, um, Deleuze and Gata, they speak about that community of craftsmen uh, who, uh, in this case, it's not the um, metaphor of the wood, it's the metaphor of the metal. But nevertheless, the idea that crafting a material um, in a community of practice um, creates this sort of esprit de corps, this sort of complicity of friendship that comes from the fact that they are, um, they have this shared cosmology which uses some form of material element. Now, one could say philosophy is not material, but nevertheless, we will see that Deleuze and Gattari compare uh, the concept to an aerial light. We'll come back to that, but basically they compare it to a, a flying uh, meteor. So uh, there's this element, there's an element of solidity um, in the philosophical concept, but it's a flying solidity, of course. With the creation of philosophy, the Greeks violently force the friend into a relationship that is no longer a relationship with another, but one with an entity, an essence, an objectality. So we mentioned that point yesterday. What does it mean to be the friend of uh, an abstraction? What does it mean to be the friend of concepts? Well. If we agree with uh, Maître Eckhart, Master Eckhart, medieval thinker, that we become what we love, if you are a friend of the concept, you, part of you, becomes itself concept. And they, they speak of a transcendental lived reality. So this might mean that the, the philosopher is someone that is, lives in between the concept and uh, empirical existence by introducing in him or in her um, some elements that are not elements of flesh but at the same time by bringing into life by bringing into existence by bringing into the realm of flesh the um, abstract reality and although Deleuze and Gattari professed that they didn't like Hegel here uh, and again, we will come back to that, but here it sounds a little bit like the uh, deployment of the concept in history that uh, Hegel has spoken of. What does friend mean when it becomes a conceptual persona or a condition for the exercise of thought? Right? Then they speak of the lover, the friend. Um, and of this idea that um, there is an element, at least with, with the Greeks, there is an element of agonism, right? That there is this rivalry of free men, a generalized, generalized athleticism, the agon. So it's not the, it's not the full antagonism but it is a form of emu competitive emulation that um, 
reconciles the integrity of the essence they write and the rivalry of claimants. Right. So the idea of friend and the Greek beginning of philosophy um, supposes that philosophy is both an individual relationship with entities that are not human or not fully human, but also a collective endeavor. Right? It's this idea of the dialogue. So the question we will ask and, and we will end here because again I want to keep each episode around 10 minutes um, can we do philosophy without being part of a community of friends of the concept that's it for today and we'll continue tomorrow bye bye